scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Those in love know that one of the things love does to you is it makes you a fool. If you don't become a fool loving properly, then that sacrifice, it will sting your ego, it will sting your reputation. But that's the price you have to pay for genuine love. And the last key is pleasure. Love is not all about pain. If your love is all about pain, check it again. Love cannot be all about pain. So the Bible says, He daily loads us with benefits. I want you to check these four things against your Christian work. If all you have received in your life is sacrifice and pain, you have a right to demand the other dimensions and say, Lord, I can't suffer forever. There's got to be a morning after seasons of night. So there are times when we enjoy His power. There are times when the joy of the Lord fills our heart. There are times when we will have to cry all on account of our love for him. There are times when we will have to seek him regardless of our emotional feeling. Let me tell you something. When you pursue God emotionally, you will be in for a shock. Because there are times uh, that life may not give you the best expression to love God emotionally. Are we together? So you've got to say, Lord, I'm crying. In the midst of disappointment, in the midst of all of these things, I cannot say I'm passionate about you tonight, but I'm committed. Are we together? That's the heart and the spirit of a lover. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. How I love to worship you. And how I love to stand for you my song to him and even though it hurts me for every step I take and even though it pains me for every move I make but I love you I can never ever do without you I love you I can never ever do without you. Yes, I love you. I love you. I never ever do without you. And there are blessings that the Bible says are for lovers, not just prayer warriors. It says, No eye has seen. Have you read that in your Bible? No ear has heard. Neither has it come into the heart of any man what God has in store. Not for them that shout, I love you, I love you, then 
limit, those who are serious addicts of God. May that happen to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Now, very quickly, before we hear what the Lord has for us tonight, I'm holding in my hand a, a catalog of all koinonia messages right from 2011 and um, I just felt in my spirit to guide us for a minute or two on how to maximize the benefits of these teachings every single one of these teachings are powerful revelatory and will bless us but only if we know how to take advantage of them. There are very few people here who can boast of having heard all of them and having listened to them again. Say Amen. There are so many messages. In fact, while I was going through the list, um, I was in awe myself because I can't begin to imagine that all these teachings touching different areas from family life, spiritual growth, prayer, faith, our victory in Christ, passion for glory, the counsel of God, the kingdom, the Holy Spirit, you know, podcasts and so on and so forth, teaching on persecutions, um, the world system, prophecies, um, you know, the body of Christ and so on and so forth, the Holy Spirit, you can... I mean, did you know that you can just pick these teachings literally? Even if you never had an encounter with a man of God, you can pick these teachings and stay with them and you will encounter God in very solid ways. You heard the testimony of that gentleman, our brother, about to commit suicide, frustrated in his life, and just one message walking in purpose see the, the unique thing about these messages is aside from the thoughts the unique dimensions of the teachings there is an anointing upon the messages that will achieve the same results regardless of what is being talked about so you can be listening to a teaching on relationship are we together and you find out that you are healed the anointing doesn't care that is relationship. The moment your faith is released and there is an infirmity in your body, the anointing was designed to reproduce the Garden of Eden in your life. So whilst your mind is receiving information uh, as regards finances and whatever it is, the Holy Ghost will not see a sick body and pass. No. For as long as your faith is alive. Are we together now? That's the kind of miracle that happened to our brother. So... I want to challenge you. You see, if you want to um, receive this teaching, you have to create, first and foremost, have a compendium of this. I believe that the media department can and should make this available. Please, media, make this available to as many people who want to have this copy. Number two is to, if you can, group them on your system or your phone or whatever it is. Create a way of grouping these teachings according to the central thoughts that they communicate. You can group them, maybe the economic system of the kingdom, financial dominion, and the wealthy place, you know, you can group them. So that when you are trusting God to rise in the area of finances, you will not be studying um, on intimacy with the Holy Spirit. As important as that is, it may not achieve that result. Are we together now? You will be blessed but you have to break these messages in such a way that they serve their purpose as when needed. So that even when you are giving the messages to people, you are blessing people. If they want everything, you can give them. But there are times when, for instance, someone is telling you, I used to be a pastor, I used to be on fire for God, but right now I'm smoking, I'm drinking, I'm not serious with God. Now, giving that person... Um, a message on um, maybe a miracle service. It may help the person but it may not really help the person so much. You will want to give that person a message like the principle of renewal. 
are we together? Or why revivals die? Or gaining spiritual stature? That way you will minister more strategically to the person. So every one of us should have this. I'm, I'm sure that the media will have this. And you should have this so that you can go through the teachings. Don't just listen to what is available. There are so many teachings designed to guide us. I mean, I can begin to talk about, we have the eternal counsel of God, the multidimensional workings of the word, um, creative power of the spoken word, our victory in Christ, redeeming the time, be like him, um, kingdom advancement, kingdom economics, one to three. You know, several other teachings, the apostate church, fasting and prayer, the full gospel, evidence of genuine intimacy, um, prophetic insight to God's agenda, the prize for an extraordinary anointing, the mystery of death and glory, reality of heaven and hell, the secret of sustained glory, envoys of his presence, and then the warfare series now, the weapons of our warfare, pulling down stronghold, you know, the success and breakthrough series, activating breakthrough, dominion through excellence, supernatural exploits, give me this mountain. Um, I mean, there, there are so many. The protocol of an encounter confronting the darkness, the error, the darkness of error and apostasy, um, spiritual timing, reigniting a passion for the Holy Spirit, Koinonia, ancient secret to power and relevance. Spiritual strategy for renewal, divine direction. The power of hope, the power of preparation, prophetic implication of associations. You will want to listen to that message. The reality of spiritual laws, the faith that works, awake thou that sleepest. I can go on and on and on again. All these teachings were designed to build you. They were designed to build you. Are we together now? And I'm saying it especially for those online, if we can have a, an updated version of the catalog online so that um, those who follow us online, there are thousands of people who follow us online, can have access to this and um, be blessed by them. Every one of these teachings are available and they are all free. It's a price we have made for the body of Christ as our contribution to seeing that the body grows. I want you to stretch your hands in one minute to this and I'd like us to pray and say, Lord, a fresh anointing upon it. We thank you for what these teachings have been doing to the nations. But in the name of Jesus, a renewed fire. Can you stretch your hands? Lord, we send these teachings afresh to nations, to prisons, to hospitals. Mighty miracles in a fresh dimension. Some of them are old teachings, but we declare a new anointing upon them. In the name of Jesus, we send them to the nations across Asia, across Europe, across the Caribbean, all across Africa. We send them as envoys, oh God, messengers of encounters, messengers of koinonia. Are you praying? We are praying from here and Lord, we are speaking. All those who have these teachings on their phones, their laptops, the grace to begin to listen to them. Lord, we pray that there be miracles, multiplied miracles, multiplied miracles, multiplied miracles. We open up the gates of new territories. Heathenistic nations be open to these teachings. The Middle East, Iraq, Iran, Palestine. Let there be men and women, oh God, that will take these teachings. May they bless ministries. May they bless individuals. May they go where we cannot go. We send them as messengers of fire. May they go with the hand of the Lord, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. May kings and nobles listen to this teaching. Let it shape governments. Let it shape territories. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release angels, new angels, assigned to take this teaching. New passion, new zeal. Prophetic evangelists, 
all across this nation taking this teaching to unreached places. Hallelujah. Lord, we anoint this. I lay my hands upon it on behalf of your people. And Lord, we declare a fresh anointing upon these teachings. In the name of Jesus, a fresh dimension of the workings of the Holy Ghost upon these teachings. Let them go far further than we can imagine and produce great wonders in the lives of people. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to shout a big Amen. Shout it again, a big Amen. Amen. All right, pick up your writing materials. Let's get to the business of the night. Amen and amen and amen. It is God's desire that among the many things that happen to us that we move from one dimension of grace to another. There are seven blessings that Jesus received in redemption and gave them to the church. It says, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, honor, and it lists all of them. A complete and a balanced Christian life. Please pay attention. It's a Christian life that has, through the grace of God, accessed all these dimensions. Are we together now? And um, in the last, maybe the last few months, I've been like, I would call it a spiritual archaeologist. There has been such a renewed passion in my heart to study the church, the ecclesia, to study the body of Christ afresh. This strange entity called the body of Christ. I've had a renewed passion to study the body of Christ and to study the on tapped riches, please pay attention, that are locked in in this mysterious entity called the body of Christ. One of the things that I've been sharing with us and we had a revision on that last week is the power of the body. The ability to discern the body. The Bible tells us in a very uncomfortable way how that the reason why there is a lot of weakness in the body, the reason why there is a lot of limitation, please listen, in the body, the reason why we are unable to, to, um, to not represent the full dimension of the glory and the power of God is because we have not been trained largely to discern the body and what it represents. First, Corinthians 11. Let's just look at that scripture. 1 Corinthians 11. Don't look at the projector screen. Open your Bible. 1 Corinthians 11. If you don't have a Bible, buy one. It's a gold watch setting. Cancel the money for your hair and buy a Bible. Jordan is in front here. It's available. The shop can be opened after Koinonia. We, we buy nonsense, we buy things that don't contribute overall to our spiritual growth and we ignore the things that have life. The Bible, listen, Jesus himself giving a parable, he says the kingdom is like a treasure. Listen, someone had a farm and there was a treasure in that farm but he did not know what treasure he had. Are we together? And he said one found that treasure and when he found that this land had treasure, he went and sold what? Every other thing to raise the money to buy that land. So it's worth it to make whatever sacrifice that will give you access. You see, in the spirit, I'm digressing for a reason. Don't major on the minors and then minor on the majors. There are some things when you hold them, other things must follow. Are you getting the point now? So don't chase foolish and mundane carnal things this one thing when you get it other things must follow for instance the bible says get wisdom get wisdom when you get wisdom with wisdom comes wealth with wisdom comes security with wisdom comes divine direction 
So instead of praying for wealth, praying for divine direction, you cry for wisdom. Are we together now? You, you have to learn that certain things in the kingdom are contained in others. By getting certain major things, you get others too. I'll give you an instance. If the governor of Kaduna State is to come to Zaria, for instance, trying to bring the governor, the commissioner, the emir, is a very foolish thing. Just try to bring the president. Are we together? In bringing the president, every other person down that cadre must come. Are we together? So when you seek the presence of God, other things follow. When you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, if you are truly doing that, other things follow. So what you are receiving in Koinonia, listen, I'm saying this because there are people who think we are neglecting certain levels of spiritual growth. You may say, ah, but Apostle, why are we not teaching on this dimension and this dimension? What I'm teaching you is a superior dimension. It's a master key. I guarantee you, when you hold it, you will not need to look for other things. Because they will come. Are we together now? It's very important. Oh God, give me tea. Give me bread. That's the key to frustration. There are certain things when you have, that's the end of it. May you have it in Jesus' name. May God open your eyes to have it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's look at 1 Corinthians. I was saying something about the body of Christ. Um, 29 and 30. Thank you. It says, for he that eateth now, he was talking of communion. Right, the Holy Communion, Paul was helping them. Because um, theologically speaking, many of them, you know, the wines those days did not have a system of preserving it like we do now. So after a while, the wine would become alcoholic. And certain people started helping themselves with that alcoholic wine. So communion, that should just be just a shot of it, enough to help you. Certain people in the body of Christ who were custodians, maybe in the welfare department, started going out of the normal context of communion and they were drinking in the house of the Lord. Are we together? So those who think God did not talk about drinking, here it is. It says, For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, unworthily without respect, foolishly without revelation of what it means. It says, Drinketh unto what? Eateth and drinketh damnation unto himself. But then broadly speaking, it says, Not discerning the Lord's body. So the extended understanding of this is not just the bread and the cup, but that if you do not discern the Lord's body, there is a danger. For this cause, not for many causes, for this singular reason, that God has a body that needs to be discerned for a man to succeed. And the inability to discern that body has produced this. For this cause, how many? How many? It didn't say few. For this cause. The inability to understand this mystery entity called the body of Christ. It says many are weak. The word weak there does not just mean weak like you don't have energy. Trust me. It means weakness in every fashion. It says for this cause many are what? Sick among you. And many sleep. The word sleep there is the word die. It's God speaking to us. That means somewhere in the body of Christ is a key that corrects weakness. Somewhere in the body of Christ is a key that can turn sick people to become healthy. Somewhere in the body of Christ is a mystery that can keep men long. Listen please. There are certain dimensions of spiritual reality that your personal work with God cannot deliver unto you. You have to learn this. Everything is not delivered to you on the platform of your personal altar and work with God. There are certain dimensions of God that only come on account of the corporate release. The, the treasures that come, they are not given to a person. They are only given through a person, but they are for the body. There are certain dimensions of God that will never show up when you are alone. That dimension only comes when believers are gathered together. 
if believers are not gathered together, that dimension of spiritual activity cannot happen. For instance, if no one man could bring the Holy Spirit to the earth. Are we together? 120 people had to be gathered together. That spiritual formation created the room for the Holy Ghost to come. Are we together now? When the church was being threatened, right? The church was being threatened. The Bible says that they prayed, but they came together. So there are certain levels of persecution that comes upon the church. The prayer of one man cannot stop it. It takes the prayer of a body. And in God's economy, two or more people form the body. One man, there are certain possibilities. He said, where two or three are gathered in my name. Is God helping us, please? One of the things that I really want us to have is spiritual intelligence. Say spiritual intelligence. It is the secret that helps men to do business in God's economy. You have to understand how God's system operates. So, there are treasures locked up in the body. Ah, you know, while I was preparing to come, the Holy Ghost gave me a revelation that touched my heart. And this is what he said. The Bible tells us um, that when Jesus was born, listen, there was a star. Is that true? A star that was shining so bright at the east and the magi, those we call the wise men, they saw that star and they followed that star and came where Jesus was. Is that true? And then they bowed down and they worshipped him. Now listen, a savior was born on earth. Listen, who could do a lot of things, but there were people who did not know. So on that earth, there was someone who was born, but they could not know. However, certain people decided to pursue and say, let's find out. And they found out that Savior and it blessed them. Do you know that when Jesus walked upon the earth, there were people who were never healed? I believe they were not interested in healing because in that dispensation, there was a man who had the ability to solve their problem. Jesus did not heal every sick person. He healed those who came to him. He healed those who pursued him and sought after him. He didn't just come and volunteer and say, Kai, I'm concerned about this, your situation. No. When people were hungry, Jesus said, feed them. And the production of the miracle, Andrew had to come with five loaves and two fish. And Jesus said, okay, you have come to me. He always responded to people's hunger and passion. Let me tell you something. God is not a welfare officer. He responds to faith and a heart that believes. Your coming to God is proof that you know he is. He exists. And then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Say amen. Are we together now? Let me have, um, come, I need the guys, four or five gentlemen, please come. Just stand here, watch this. I want to teach you something very powerful. Stand. Everybody open your eyes, your ears, your spirit. Two more people, please. This is the body of Christ. Listen, this is the body of Christ. Hold this, Patrick. Hold this. You are here Touching every life I worship you Let me have this. I worship you You are here Any other thing? Not hang well, not handkerchief. I worship you. Thank you, sir. Everybody lift, project out what I've given you. Watch this. This is the body of Christ. Are we together? In the body of Christ, there is a phone, true or false. In the body of Christ, there is a Bible, true or false. In the body of Christ, there is a handkerchief, true or false. So when God speaks, 
He speaks based on the provision that is in the body. So God says, anyone who wants to make a call, make a call. And now, this guy wonders, is there ever a phone in the body of Christ? Somewhere in the body is somebody who represents a dimension of God that can help men make calls. Follow me. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? When God looks, he does not see, what's your name? He does not see brother Kingsley. He sees his body representing all the possibilities in him. So God tells you, where is the piece of paper that contains the blessings on your life? And you say, oh God, all I have known in my life is that the body of Christ has pure water. And God says, no way. Check, there is a paper. There is a dimension that holds this possibility. But that it does not happen in your life does not mean it's not here. Hear what I'm saying. Are we together? This is the power that is vested upon the body. The body is part of Christ. So this is a modem. A modem helps you to access the internet. And God says there is a possibility in me for that dimension. But because you do not know the spiritual system that can help you access this. Are we together now? You may be suffering for this cause. For not discerning what this mystery entity called the body is. Some people will remain jobless forever. Listen please. Some people will remain sick forever. <laughs> Hear what I'm teaching you. Hear what I'm teaching you. I spoke, was it last week or two weeks ago about spiritual tribes? The system of God that represents his possibilities. I told you that our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenant. You must understand this. So every time God wants to reveal his dimension to a dispensation, there is a mantle backed up by a throne in heaven that is responsible for that operation. It is those mantles that are represented as lampstands. Are you following me now? There are dimensions of the operation of the spirit. So what happens is, God finds one man, enters a covenant with that man, and the covenant is such that it can authorize the spirit to communicate certain dimensions of spiritual reality through that man to that dispensation. And every other person who must walk in this dimension cannot ignore both the person and the office of this man. Are we together? So, I am God. Watch this. You are thirsty. And you are saying, Oh God, quench my thirst. And God said, I refer you to my body. It's no longer a prayer point. Somewhere in my body, there is a system that was designed to quench your thirst. But through ignorance, arrogance, the lies that we pastors teach people, are we together? We pastors come and because of our ego, we teach people that single-handedly encountering us is encountering the body. So, they camp around the dimension of what we have and do not open up themselves to the multifaceted dimensions. Let me tell you something. Every custodian of this dimension is imperfect to a fault. Now, this is usually where we are cheated because we are sensing that the vessels that hold this perfect gift must be perfect themselves. So we are looking for patterns that look like what we can appreciate before we open up our hearts. Are we together? So you get to a church and um, they may have all kinds of imbalances. Maybe criticizing a Pentecostal church or whatever it is. And they may not allow praying in tongues publicly. And when you see that pattern, it's not what you are used to. You were not trained that way. You were trained to pray and blast and roll on the floor. But the man of God has that limitation. However, in spite of that limitation, there is a spiritual possibility committed to him. That if you approach that meeting with an open heart, you will still live with that grace. 
Are we together? Now, watch this. There are people who, who have opened up themselves to certain men of God, certain meetings, certain encounters. You can come to a church like this and a meeting like this and even be angry. Why are they, um, why are they playing instruments like this? And just because you identified with that system, certain possibilities come upon you. You were not opening your heart to believe hope just because you found yourself in that environment. Hear me? Your life becomes accelerated when you understand the law that governs reception from the body. You may not have the physical privilege to meet all these tribes one on one, but there is a system provided for in Christ that will help you to contact all the possibilities that they have. Please hear what I'm teaching you and you will rise like an edifice. So, call this the prophetic. Call this the healing ministry. Sorry guys, just bring your hands down so you can rest. You can imagine what you are going through. Call this the teaching ministry. Call this the prayer ministry. Call this the prosperity ministry. Call this wisdom and excellence. Call this leadership. It's called the body of what? To teach that this should not be in the body of Christ is apostasy. That it was not committed to you does not mean it was not given to the body. Now, let me tell you where we preachers destroy the body of Christ. Because of our ego, and I understand, it's not easy for we men of God. So be careful. While you are criticizing us, understand that we are humans too. But then, a true servant of God must be able to have the unashamedness to hide your individualism and say, Look, this is the beacon of light. This is the lampstand that I present to a generation. However, God's desire is that we open up our spirits to the multifaceted possibilities that exist in his body, not a ministry. By the time I, as a man of God who represents leadership and excellence, tries to give the body a picture that the prophetic is not useful. I, I, are we together now? So you hear me, anybody that prophesies is, is nonsense. All these commercial prophets, they are just nonsense and stupid. Now watch this. When the time comes in my life to need this grace, my hardness will stop the Holy Spirit from flowing in that dimension because I have refused to admit that it is a possibility that should be received. So my life is limited. For this cause, many are weak. Are we together? And so, this guy has been given the grace for wealth and prosperity. But now, this prophet or apostle knows how to speak and then God opens doors of wealth. So he will look at this guy and say all these business guys, they are nonsense. Come to me, so a seed, I lay hands on you, your door will open. He's also in apostasy and error. Be any move you make that distorts the full representation of the body is apostasy. A deviation from the truth. Are we together? So, I need the prophetic. I need the word ministry for a great meeting. But I need this ministry to run generator and run and, and marry. And are we together? So ministry is going well and now you are ready for introduction. It's 400,000. Your eyes are clearing. You are trying to use this ministry to get this result. And God says, not so. You must find where in the body is already a provision. It will require humility. But because you have made too much mouth that you don't need this ministry. Now, the ego to now humble yourself and say, how do I now read this business book when I've told everybody that all there is to break through is prophecy? If you are getting blessed, say amen. amen. There are many people's confusion that can end. Look, for instance, there may be someone sitting here now who is praying and say, Oh God, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Something as cheap as the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, the day of your breakthrough is the day you choose to believe the body. It's not just the day God wants. 
you can, the Bible says today if you hear his voice, that today is the day you read that scripture and believe. There are people who, you know, when people call me and say, man of God, I, I, I cannot imagine, I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I say something as basic as that, in the realm of the spirit, that, that's, that's kindergarten. But because you have ignored that the body of Christ can bring these possibilities. All you need to do is to know that a house like Koinonia has been committed these dimensions of the Holy Spirit. You don't even have to see me. You don't even have to ask the prayer leaders to pray for you. Just find your way on Tuesday. Stay in that atmosphere and let that possibility you may just go and, I mean, before the prayer starts, you've received your own. When the donkey, the keys was missing, they said, let's try to look for that donkey. And when they tried, and it looked like nothing would happen, I hope you know they would have said, Kai, there is no hope of it being found. Let's go back. Just the same way you said, Kai. I feel too much. I can't rise. No. You do not know what provision in the body was assigned for the rising of people. So because you do not know, your ministry will remain grounded forever. Whereas you are hearing testimonies every day that there were people worse than you who encountered these graces and rose. As I look at preachers, as I look at churches, the privilege of the apostolic office is such that you have the opportunity to bring governmental order to a system and a territory. I can step into a meeting or travel to a territory for a conference and look at the pastors and at once I can know the spiritual dimension missing in that territory which is a reflection of how they have closed their heart to certain possibilities in the spirit. So I can step into a meeting and see excellence but men do not pray. Five minutes prayer you just see them pray and they are sipping tea, taking this. I know that they have ignored this dimension out of the body. Through their preaching, through their saying, prayer is not everything. Get knowledge, get knowledge. And because the man of God does not pray, he has created a theological explanation to justify his not praying. And the members have followed suit. So I look at them, lean and hungry. I know they are weak. When they talk, you don't hear that echo that comes from the prayer life. There is, there is an unction that only prayer can deliver. Bible study will not bring it. When you hear a man speak, the, his altar resonates through his voice. I'm not talking of a husky voice. I'm speaking spiritual languages. Only men of prayer understand what I'm saying. So they come up and say, it doesn't matter. Is there excellence? Yes. Are there balloons? Absolutely. Is there a nice projector? Yes. But are there healings? No. Is there transformation? No. People come with their burdens and go back. And I look at that body. And part of the apostolic ministry, please hear me. That's why, let me tell you something. The apostolic office is not name. The apostolic ministry, you know how Anamoeba is. Biology. Basic biology. The apostolic ministry is designed such that when you enter a territory, you can assume any shape by God to let him introduce what is missing in that territory. You have to believe. That's why the true dealing of an apostle is stringent and is almost unbearable because your job is to supply the dimension of the spirit that is missing. That sometimes you yourself are not called into that dimension. But because you occupy the office of an apostle, God will deal you for that meeting to force you to introduce that dimension. Is God speaking to us? Learn this and you will rise as if the devil does not exist. The body is still rich. The healing anointing is still in the body. It just left your church because your pastor is not willing to accept that he needs impartation of the healing anointing. Are we together? Your pastor has been lying that he's having a heavy healing anointing and is not telling in the stories. And we men of God hate submission. We hate the fact that we can say, I was ministered to and this ministration opened me to this new possibility. We would rather say, I labored in the secret place and God gave it to me. Meaning I am the custodian of it is a lie. When Jesus appeared to Paul, 
he told Paul, I recommend you to somebody in the body of Christ. Go and wait there three days. You would think that Jesus' appearing will mean Paul did not need any man again. But God still drove him. So there are people who have gotten the dimension of the Holy Spirit. But they have ignored Papa Kumui simply because they do not like him. And the lapse of what he represents to the body is killing them. There is a lot of carnality and unseriousness. Because they have refused to know that there is such a provision in the body. There are men who have insulted Bishop Oyedeko and do not know, ah, God let my people be rich. No, we are going to heaven. They are poor, they are broke, the ministry can increase. They have finished all their prayer. All that is needed for the ministry to thrive is finances. But they have ignored this provision in the body. Who is God speaking to tonight? See, let me tell you. Why suffer forever when the remedy has been paid for? Why not open your eyes and humble yourself and allow the Spirit of God to show you the system He has built to tap in, in the multifaceted possibilities? Look at me. I say this with all humility. There are impotent men and barren women who would die impotent and die barren forever. I say it with every sense of apology. And I say it with every sense of honor. The, the humility to tap the provision that is in the body of Christ. I once met a woman years ago. I think it was in a meeting. Quite a long time. Let me tell you, I don't know what kind of grace was on this mama. But if she prays for you for pregnancy, just go and start buying baby clothes. Because you must give birth. It's, the question now is whether it's twins or triplets. Not that you'll be pregnant. There is a provision like that in the body. Is God speaking to us? Have you heard people here? Look at that lady saying she made her papers. She knew what she wrote. Sometimes it's not your effort. Sometimes it's the cloud that provides certain possibilities. See that? Those who know this never get arrogant. You know. Let me tell you something. I have seen... There's one man of God outside of this country. He's Benihin's son. True son. Not just fake stories. True son. That guy is not educated that guy you will know that this guy does not understand the system of church growth but because he has been able to identify with what benihin represents to the body that guy carries a tangible healing anointing you see the testimonies in his church you would think he's a charm because he has identified that grace and that office so let me tell you how satan destroys us the devil creates a system that covers away these possibilities. Are we together? Through pride, hatred for the body, resentment, and through pastors. We may be well-meaning and sincere, but he covers us. So as far as your spiritual growth is concerned, and the part of spiritual progress that an, a pastor has earmarked for you, this is all he has shown you to be the possibilities in Christ. So, you have to respect what you have been given. But you know you are dying of test. You know you are not communicating. There is no revelation in your life. There is no prayer. There is no access to the prophetic. Now, you can stand there. Your progress is based on how much of the body of Christ you have been open to. You will see somebody will come overnight who does not even have, he has not paid half the price you have paid, but he's foolish enough to contact this guy, he will carry a grace and jump and move. And you say, no way. How can a young man be a millionaire in four months? I don't believe this. These guys are 419. Don't say they are 419ers. If you have not tapped into the provision in the body of Christ, is it not a prophet that said, by this time tomorrow? Have you not read it in your Bible? Not to a person, to a nation. Israel. A nation that is a desert land till today is still exporting food. And Nigeria, 80% of the food we eat is exported. Israel is in a desert land because there is something upon Abraham that landed upon them. Do they believe in God? No. You will imagine. Let me tell you, those who have gone to Israel, you know. 
those who are helping you in the facilitation they are not born again when they watch africans come and cry on the wailing wall they wonder oh jesus my savior they are just waiting for you to give them their money they don't believe in god but they are part of a tribe that god has covenanted with himself that they will keep seeing certain possibilities Koinoni, are you hearing what I'm saying? I give you a guarantee. If you pay attention to what I'm saying, your life will rise like day and night. My only prayer is that you will not suspect yourself when you are rising. There is a way you rise too fast that you turn and say, ah, I hope I didn't put my hand in anything that is ungodly. I can't understand why my life is rising like this. Listen. Whatever you see happening in the life of one man, in Christ came from the body is reproducible it is it has the ability to be transferred and it has the ability to be recreated if you understand the laws that govern it people kept criticizing William Branham I didn't used to work so much in the prophetic here and there one word of knowledge everybody teaches on William Branham and they made it look as if the guy backslided, went to hell he's in fact is I've read William Branham's books, I've explored his materials left, right and center, including those where there were a lot of erroneous propositions. But let me tell you something, the earth will hardly find a meek man like William Branham. Very few prophets on earth today have come near the shoes of William Branham. It's just that there was no mechanism of preserving their audios and their videos like we do now. So you may just watch one or two videos where you don't see anything. Those men live like gods upon the earth. They are the ones the Bible says the earth is not worthy of. Are we together? William Branham. Every time people criticize him, he brought error to the body. Yes, there were imbalances. But he's a man. One day I was watching his video. I think it was a retreat. Heavily under the anointing. I was watching his video and something happened as I was looking at him I said oh God but there is we have we have insulted the anointing out of this man there are there are possibilities that are supposed to come to the body that we ignore because of our our attitude of, of that judgmental cynical attitude we inherited from our parents that is still destroying people and churches today while I was watching Something happened. Now, I have a lot of encounters. I live in this realm. But then, it was like, it was like, you know how you pour oil on someone, but it was such a cold sensation. Not just the sensation you have. I knew something was happening. I was looking at this man. My eyes were heavy with tears. And it's as if it's a machine going down your body. Slowly. It took maybe about 30 minutes to go down and reach my feet. I didn't know what had happened. And every time, let me teach you a secret. Whenever you have an encounter you don't understand, pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Praying in tongues will begin to give meaning to it. Not, not pray for five minutes and sleep. I mean stand up and pray. It, it's like a shell. You are opening it up spiritually. And your mind will begin to receive the impulses that have been communicated to your spirit. I began to pray. And the next meeting I would go for, it was, it was, like, it was like somebody just washed my eyes with water. And all of a sudden, I saw that there was a heightened prophetic dimension, a heightened ability, and I said, wow, something happened. I believe I've not even started tapping into 100 of that impartation that I got. So I'm still aligning more. By the time I align fully, my life will release the full potential of what had come. Because let me tell you, mantles depend on certain atmosphere to work. Um, I can receive a man to listen. I can receive a mantle, but if my mind is not developed, I will limit the access to that mantle finding expression. Are we together? So I can function, and you may see me. You can carry the anointing upon my life and produce more results because the anointing is coming on a body that has been better prepared. Moses was a stammerer, so he could not manifest the prophetic anointing on him so much. But when that anointing now came on 70 people, they could not stand. That's what one man was carrying, yet he didn't prophesy. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Say after me, the body of Christ has been vested 
with every dimension required to represent God. Say it again, the body of Christ has been vested with every dimension required to represent Christ. Are we together? Now, it's, your, it's up to you to choose what dimension you desire to see in your life. Ibele shared a testimony, her family, who at this time of Nigeria's economy will call you to send money free. That is not happening in your life does not mean it's not happening. Let me tell you, there are people, this is the happiest year of their life. I can tell you that. Now, it's always insulting when results are not happening in your life and are happening close to you. So you react to it with criticism, you react to it with resentment, but the key is to find out what are you doing. Someone sent me a text and said, um, Apostle, I want you to confirm this. It's like the love of men is waxing cold in the body of Christ. I said, that's an error. Go and think again. The church is rising powerfully. You are the only one going down. Find out what you are not doing. People are praying more than ever before. Oh, come on. Revelation is coming upon the body more than before. Don't come up with your misguided thing that the church is going down. Who is the church? Don't say the church. Say, I, as a member of the church, is hot. Like you can say, I have headache. And then the body can come together and help you. And say, it is true, you have headache. Let's bring you out. Don't use your headache to say the body is sick. Because let me tell you, the church is rising. What I'm teaching you will change your life. Look at our, our brother, this gentleman. Come, sir. You are the person who gave that testimony? Come. This guy came from Benway State. All the way. About to destroy... Come, 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 come. My son. How are you? This guy about to destroy himself to commit suicide. Are you seeing that now? If this guy committed suicide and died, what do you think will happen? We are going to sing. Pass will we pass from the earth and it's holy. That's we are carrying his grave now. Remember by what? Here lies. What's your name? James. Our brother James. He died. It's a warning to all of us. No, no, no. I'm not mocking. Pay attention to what I'm saying. This guy, whereas one message one message held the possibility of reviving his life please listen i'm saying this with every sense of passion because we still need to press we have stopped them there are some of us who carry these mantles but they are not developed enough to start serving the body so your lack of prayer is making the body die in a certain way this message is a is a call to rise and develop your contribution to making the body right. Imagine if I was a drunkard. Or imagine that I started drinking January 1st because I'm weary. The message that would need to help this guy. Do you know standing here may be a pastor or a prophet to nations. So as I, as I refuse to manifest and he dies, the nation tied to him dies. The purposes of God for that nation dies. Look at the ripple effect. Are we together? He has come now. And you can see that this guy is going to catch fire tonight. No, no, no. He will. It's not. We have it. This is what I'm saying. You must know what you have as given by God. It's not for pride. It's to distribute to the body. He says, such as I have, this is, you can pray for it somewhere else because it's not part of the spiritual composition of that ministry. But here we have it. It was given. It's an office. The same way there are some things that are not in koinonia. If we need it here, we must open our hearts to other members of the body with all humility. There are some things that don't happen as a gift here in koinonia. They happen through prayer. We pray and tap. But there are ministries, it happens like breathing. Some of you receive a lot of testimonies. If you see someone rolling under the anointing in Koinonia, you will not be surprised because it's an office. 
there are churches if one person is rolling the pastor says i've been telling you that god has increased me i've been saying this thing now it's not to mock it's not it's not mockery i'm saying there are spiritual possibilities how you know what is available in a ministry is what the people in that ministry trivialize because they've seen it so much it's in abundance you don't pray for it you don't fast for it you enter this place and you are shaking like a leaf because there is a covenant that makes this possible this is a gentleman now if i'm a stupid man of god i'm going to do two things and this is a warning to many pastors when this guy comes now because he has come to koinonia let me tell you what most foolish men of god do they try to say you have gone to every other pastor are you, are, you, are you seeing where we destroy the body now? You have gone to every other man. But when you came to Koinonia, everybody rises. And me, who is the champion you are talking about, I now rise. Those who do that, God is soon coming for them. Because that attitude is part of why the body does not grow. So, when this brother comes now, I do not isolate my impact to his life as though I am different from the body. I just tell him, no, no, no. Whatever you receive here, I hide my individualism so that the body of Christ will be glorified. It does not matter that it is Joshua Selman. The most important thing is I have represented Christ properly. Your kingdom reigns. Yes, he reigns. Through this place. Have brother right now we are all looking at him what a foolish man of God would do is to make him hate every other man of God who has talked to him are you seeing now I can make this guy hate every other man of God in Benway State or whoever so the next time he's watching TV and he sees maybe a living faith or any ministry there what is going to say is all of you are rubbish you are wasting our time only koinonia now it looks like he's glorifying me, but he's destroying the image of Christ. I must leave this guy with an impression that makes him love the body of Christ. Because although he found an anointed man, although he found an anointed ministry, we hide our individualism that Christ be lifted. So as he's going to Benway, I will tell him, okay, take messages, but open your heart. God is doing great things in Benway. He's doing great things in Lagos. Don't even in a city where you think there are no people. I've gone to cities where you think God is not doing anything. But there are dangerous people in that city that God is lifting. So he comes here tonight and leaves loving the body. He comes here tonight. He receives the graces and the mantles that have been committed to this ministry. But he goes back loving the body. The next time he enters a church where the man of God is preaching and honestly what the man of God is saying is nothing to write home about. He will understand the limitation of that man but not hate the man. So the body has risen because a man of God with spiritual intelligence has been able to minister to this. Listen, the ministry of the spirit is very important. That's why you must be thoroughly worked upon by the spirit. I can be anointed but I will still destroy him. Are we together? How many of us have been destroying the body of Christ with our misguided understanding? And there are many more who want to rise. And so God says, calm down. Before you rise, let me walk on you. And say, God, I laid hands on somebody that day and the person fell down. I'm ready to go. And then God says, tarry ye. I'm still walking on you. The body of Christ. Every one of them holding possibilities. Like you have a doctor. Doctors write certain things and recommend other people to a hospital in India. They say there is 
the world renowned eye surgeon is in India. Although I'm a consultant, I refer you to that guy because this situation, I want you to go and whatever he tells you to do, we can execute it here. That's the medical field. That's why they are helping people. But in the church, I can claim I'm an anointed man now. And then I look at this guy and I say, in the name of Jesus, I cast out that spirit. And then I say, it's done. You too, you know, nothing happened here. Are we together? The man said, if I be a man of God, go and launch into new dimensions. This guy goes back and starts smoking as soon as he gets to bed with, because the spirit was there. Unmoved by the arrogance of the man of God. That's how we destroy many people. Someone comes and tells you, I have, I am SS. And he said, in the name of Jesus, it is done. Go. The person comes back and says, nothing happened. I say, well, you see, faithless people like you, I don't know why there are too many testimonies in my life. No, no. That's a foolish man of God. A man of God who really loves God will say, look, I will keep praying for you. But I want your heart to be open. There are still possibilities in the body. So when God says all things are possible, they are not possible just because you are a Christian. They are possible because he has distributed these dimensions to the body. Is God speaking to you? Please hear me, brothers and sisters. You may be born again and still die in poverty. If you ignore what God represents, the systems he has built, you are not going to create... Look... This guy will not pray himself into becoming excellent. No. His prayer life will not suddenly manufacture into this. His prayer life will give him the revelation that will make him come and meet this person. Are we together? This guy is excellent, but he's not going to heal the sick with balloons and stickers. He's going to heal the sick when his spirit is alive and strong. And that will happen when he acknowledges the ministry of this. Listen, meeting the people is not necessarily how to receive. Just being open to the body alone. Let me tell you something. There are ministries that I have received from, even more than the members of that ministry. I have never seen their pastors. I have never gone to those ministries, but just because my heart is open. I have received wisdom from people like Dr. Mike Murdoch. I've never been to the wisdom center. I've never sat down one-on-one -on -one under his ministration. But my heart has been open to what he represents to the ministry. He's an apostle of wisdom. Whether you say seed, seed, seed is collecting money. I take what I believe is consumable for me. And whatever part I think is an excess, I lovingly just drive it. But I don't throw the baby and the bad water. I know how to receive from ministries, I tell you. This is a message for us. And God is helping us. We are going to really pray tonight. Discerning the body. Give us that scripture again. For this cause. Not for this causes. For this cause. You have written jam ten times. Who told you there is no way out? But sir, I always read. That's what you think is responsible for success alone. But there is a provision in the body. Do you believe this? I remember the doctor when he was giving his testimony. When he came and met me, he said he's going to go and write exams. I said, go and be a doctor. Listen, Korede Komaya, many of you may know him. He pastors a church in Wari. The wife of um, Bishop, um, what's his name? In Living Faith. Not Abioye. Uh, Bishop Aremu. They have twins. And so she came to greet the woman. And Bishop Aremu's wife looked at Korede Komaya's wife. And he looked at her and took what the veil she was putting. Threw it on her and said, what are you doing? Go and get twins, Joe. Immediately. She was pregnant with twins. She's giving birth to twins now. Now, you have been crying for twins. But there is a woman with the mantle. She's even playing with it. Go and get twins, Joe. In the body. But there are some people saying, Lord one child whether the child is well or not just give me something that comes out of me whereas the but please i want you to take what i'm saying very seriously i am a product of many anointings i keep rising because i love the body not just because i'm anointed 
I was not born with every possibility in my life. I honored my way through them. And the key is to love the body. The body may be imperfect. I know there are false prophets. But the, the prophetic mantle is still in Nigeria. I know there are false apostles. But the prophetic mantle is still. I know there are money mongers. But there are still people with the prosperity mantle. Don't just because you have one or two case studies. Throw everything in the body of Christ. And you destroy yourself. Is God speaking to us? You have to change your perception. We make a miracle work, a promise. Light in the darkness. That is who you are. Sing it to him. We make a miracle work, a promise. Light in the darkness. To you. you can choose the way people are trying to be established and be established at 45 and build your first house at 55 and die at 60 of high blood pressure or you can find out Lord is there a system you have created that can help men run Elijah told Ahab saddle your ass Ahab always knew that if you must run you run on donkeys so he had the best donkey but there was another system Foreign to Ahab, but the prophet knew it. The Bible says the hand of God came upon him. Let me tell you something. All the methods you know is not all there is. There are faster and more effective routes to anything. I have seen men, brothers and sisters, within two years of their work with God, they have carried graces and unctions that will make other people angry and say, I sought God for ten years before the healing anointing came. I don't know how you sought him. But this brother sought him in a system that made two years become like 20 years. This is the key to advancement. If God says this is our year of multiplied grace, then there is a technology he wants to give you to run. Let me tell you, we have been working, but it's time to run. It's time to run. The key is discerning the body. The key is discerning the body. The Lord instructed me to empty my account and sow it into a particular ministry. When I did that, I was shocked. It was like charm. One month of non-stop favor. Permit me to use the word wicked favor. I've seen favor in my life. The same way I have seen pastors who just came and sat down. Some of you are like that. They came from other ministries. They never go to see me. But they went back. And all of a sudden, their next meeting, things just changed. One man of God went to, I think it was Bishop Oedeko or so, and sowed a seed. I shared with you the story. Oedeko said, now that you have come, it's recognized that you have a church in your area. You know that looks arrogant, isn't it? But the man knows what he's saying. The man went back and in one service, they had 500 newcomers. 500. 500. Listen, the men of God and the spiritual structures that carry these systems may have their arrogance, they may have their imperfections, but create a system to look beyond it. You know what you are finding. If you find God, you will find Him. If you are finding a loud, you will find Him. But for you to think all you have seen is all there is in God, you are joking. Please hear me. This thing called favor does not just fall on people because you read it in scripture. There are men carrying this thing bodily. It's like a mantle on their head. Anywhere they go, anywhere they go. We were at the airport. I was just sitting down. We are waiting for a boarding call. And while we are sitting, a gentleman just came, a man of God. He said, sorry, are you Apostle Joshua Selman? I said, ah, somebody has come to embarrass me again. And then the person, you know, we just spoke. And he just said, excuse me. He just went and put money in an envelope and brought it and dropped it. Just like that. Is he working in your life? Some of you know. Why? Because you think it must come through your personal secret place. Look, God has created. Do you know the spiritual discipline it takes 
for a man to carry some of these things. People have labored for you so that by the grace of God and through the power of a corporate life, you can enter into certain possibilities. Trying to dig the well afresh, your lifetime is not enough to enter every dimension by yourself. If it takes 10 years to catch a particular spiritual possibility, how long do you have to live to get all of them? So God has created men. Your honor and your love for the body opens you up automatically to that dimension. Those of us who have the art of criticizing the body, you own your television and everybody, you keep scrolling channel after channel, insulting everybody. You go to church and your pastor, you look at him, saying all these Anglican people say, they're about to just keep quiet. Look for Christ and you will find him. Look for excellence. You will find it. Look for anointing. Look for prayer. Look for these graces and you will find them. That's what I've chosen to do. I'm, I'm like, that's why I told you I'm like a spiritual archaeologist. I go around the body of Christ with my bag of treasures. When I find it, he said they are life to those who find them. That's how we found the grace for long life. That we transported like gold from Ekiti State to Koinonia. We landed it here. I know how it came. It came from a city and a territory that have a covenant of long life. 141 years still alive. I said, no way, we must receive this. Our seed went for it. But those Yoruba people prayed for us with their... With, the mama prayed on barefoot. When it landed on my life, I knew. We're coming back from Yola. There was so much trouble, turbulence in the air. They had to turn back. The plane turned back from Yola back to Abuja because the turbulence was too much. Now when they carried us, I mean, it was as if we were going to drop. God is my witness. I was sleeping. Kai, the mysteries that surround my life are many. What you see is not all that there is. You try it and see. It's like Obama. You know how Obama is walking. You want to shoot him and you just die. Somebody shoots you from where you do not know because they are watching. The keeper of Israel he never sleeps nor slumbers. He's watching over me. That's my testimony. The keeper of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumbers. Yeah. He's watching over me. There are men that have a covenant of deliverance with God. They will enter trouble as if there is no tomorrow. What that to say, God will show up. When you have even concluded, David was such a person, Psalm 3. Many a day, he said, how many a day that trouble me? Many a day that rise up against me. Many a day that say, where is his God? He said, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. Listen, it's not every man that said that. They didn't have it. David had it. It's called the covenant of peace. In the Hebrew, it's called the covenant of shalom. Peace. The covenant that makes God show up when a man has trouble. There is such a covenant. There is such a mantle. You need it in this Nigeria. You don't need to look for trouble. You just need to be a Nigerian. Trouble will come and find you. But sometimes you cannot defend yourself. But when that mystery is at work, you will see God turn things. It's like Ojoro, they said, no, 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 but I know this person is supposed three causes. I understand waving one, but three causes. Why you? There is something they do not understand more than the Senate of APU. I want you to believe this. Men walk upon mysteries. That's why two people can go through the same thing. Another person will die, but another person says, I don't know what happened. I was right at the edge of a breakthrough, but couldn't see. My troubles held me down. The pressure laid me down. God kept me. So I wouldn't let go. His mercy kept me. So I wouldn't let go. Listen. There are lots of ladies who are saying, No man has come to ask me out. I know I'm not pretty. It's a lie. It's a lie. There are married women with 10 children. And somebody is still saying, sorry, can we have dinner? It's a grace. 
Well, you can argue it because you went to school. I'm telling you, it's a grace. You see, this education is good, but you have to be careful. The realm of the spirit is far superior to the intellectual realm. There's a gentleman in this ministry. I've never seen somebody with that grace. There is nothing he does not do that doesn't prosper. He has done all kinds of things. If that guy sells pampas, I don't mean it in a shop from his house. There are no children here, but you will buy it. Something will make you just say, let me buy it and give somebody as a gift. That's the kind of grace he has. I know people who have their shop. They sit down alone and eat everything in the shop because you have business intelligence, but you have not opened up yourself to that dimension. Please, as we begin to pray, let your prayer lift you in the spirit where you scan for where you have ignored. And let's cry out and say, Lord, there is no prosperity in my life. I've been trying to fake it, but this thing is not there. Let it come. Do you know if it comes before miracle service, you can have a testimony that dwarfs everything. It's because you think everything you work, you work for is what you must get. There are people who have worked for things. The grace can direct them to you. For this cause, for this cause there are women who desire men they have six ladies and they are about their home is about to scatter because they are looking for a man and the man is saying this is your last chance if you ever give me a girl you are following that girl to go out of the house of course that's a stupid reason but do you know there is a woman with 12 boys why don't you exchange it Who taught you that these things are not transferable? You can transfer a charge card, MTN share, but you can't transfer spiritual virtue. Who lied to you? You break your 2,000 naira recharge card and give somebody 500 and he receives it. And you don't believe you can transfer spiritual virtues? Who lied to you that I cannot impart upon you grace for prayer? The, my agreement with God can come on you. Listen, listen. Guys, I don't know how we think sometimes, honestly. I can tell you, I want to browse. I have 5,000 Naira in my phone, true or false. And I can say, okay, send 1,000. You just need to press a code. And your, your amount will be deducted. Abi, and then it will come to somebody. And he's just sitting down and his phone rings. Credited with 1,000 Naira. Did he work for it? You could share it because you are willing to share and he was willing to accept. Who told you you cannot do that spiritually? You can transfer health, not healing, health. You can transfer it. Believe me. If you can transfer sickness, why can't you transfer health? Please answer me. Biology teaches us airborne disease. What's the other one? Waterborne disease. And whatever you want to call, you can transfer it. You can transfer wealth. These things are first spiritual. You can receive it. If you don't believe what I'm saying, get ready to struggle in this life. Because it's not by power. It's not by might. We have ignored God's system of making things easy for us. God is not a wicked God. If you do not walk with the body, and this is all you have, you will make God look like a wicked God. Because you'll be like, oh God, help me. Let me tell you, the answer is not in heaven. Someone on earth is working in your prayer point. And if only your heart will be open. Prayer was not just designed for petitions alone. It was designed as a spiritual system to help you grow. But most of our prayer life has been channeled towards pleading. Because we have ignored the body. Are we together? There are people in life, they may not be so spiritual, but there is, there is no time they cry for help. The help does not arise. There are people like that because their grandmother blessed them and said, may you always find help. She transferred something from her and it landed on that little baby who could not say amen. The baby grew not knowing there was such a possibility. But the baby noticed that every time I go somewhere, help has arrived. Brothers and sisters, it's a grace. There are people who 
their grandfathers were Habalis. Babalao. But they laid hands on them and said, May your eyes see. They grew up as children from age four, five. They started seeing. They are not born again. Because originally from God, they were called to walk in a prophetic dimension. But it was corrupted. Although the transference came through divination, when they get born again, God does not cancel it. It only corrects it. There is a switch of kingdoms upon which that possibility operates. That's why when an occultist gets born again, he doesn't stop seeing vision. It only comes back under the authority of Christ. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. There are dimensions of the Spirit that are possible. See, this house, Koinonia, is a great house. This house, Koinonia, is a great house. There are all kinds of possibilities for your taking. Now, you can sit down and argue it. Is this thing real? Is this possible? Or you can say, Lord, I'm tired. It's not this hard. Um, it's, it's not this hard. Now, for the next 10 minutes, we are going to pray. Listen, your prayer, you are not asking God for anything. You are just going to pray in the spirit. I want you to prepare your spirit for a distribution of mantles. A distribution of mantles, a distribution of possibilities, 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 possibilities. Results are possible in the kingdom. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Listen, let me teach you something. There are pastors here. You have never seen the hand of God show up in your meetings. It's an insult on yourself. It's not, it's not about prayer and fasting. There are cheap possibilities you can step into. There are churches, there are prayer groups for years. You are four, five, you become 20, you come back to three. Why punish yourself? It's not so hard. Why don't you open up your spirit to receive? There are people, there's no man in your life to help you. You work for everything. It's a cost. Don't think you are making progress just because you have a job. It's a cost to not have helpers show up for you. There is a place called Zion. And God can send help to men. We are a ministry that has been greatly helped by God. Do you believe that? We are going to pray. The next two to three minutes, I want you to pray. Listen. Anointing is not just a spiritual thing that lands on your head. No. An anointing is simply... An impartation that opens a dimension of spiritual possibility. Please hear what I'm saying. An anointing does not do everything. Your request directs its operation. Are we together now? You don't just say, God anoint me. It's not a wise prayer. Father, everything is working in my life but this prosperity thing. Lord, I don't see helpers arise for me. I beg and I struggle for everything. I get in trouble and pay for it by myself. There is an anointing for exemption. Lord, I see that there is no influence in my life. You know the area you need grace for. I'd like you to pray like your heart will come out of your body. Cry for the dimension you must see in your life.
Hallelujah. I'm going to give us three prayer points. I want you to pray it with fire. Because as you pray it, God will answer it. Number one. Father, the anointing for speed. The anointing for speed. That I will run. Everybody will see that this is speed. Release it upon me in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Speed. Brothers and sisters, what you are receiving in this prayer will speak. I assure you, it will. It will. Please don't think God is playing games with you. We are not serving an idol. I show you a mystery that has made and is making my life. I know what I'm saying. Prayer point number two. Lord, multiply my results. Multiply my results. Lift your voice and pray. Multiply my results. Multiply my results. Financial results. Ministerial results. Multiply my results. Multiply my results. Oh God of heaven. Oh God of heaven. Oh God of heaven. Multiply my results. Multiply my results, multiply my influence, multiply my impact, multiply my joya, multiply my joya, multiply my business, multiply my Attire of masquerade. Some of us, where we come from, you know men who are also masquerade. There is a language they use. When you see men who are masquerade, they say they cook them. Abi, they say they cook the man. That's why he can speak. That's what is happening to you now. That that thing that they say they cook a man, that you come out and it will be like charm is on you. That's what is happening. The last prayer point. Or at least the next one. Listen. People hear me. Hear me. I don't know how to beg you to pray this prayer point. But you've, you've heard me say it. I'd like you to call your helper. Listen. Koinonia, listen. 
until your helper shows up, you can remain in one position for decades. Listen, a helper is not a volunteer. A helper is a man anointed to rescue you. Listen, you may die and not be able to move to certain dimensions until a helper arises. Listen, listen. There are many families with no helpers. There are many lives with no helpers. There are people who need jobs, no helpers. Intelligence, no helpers. It's a prayer I pray every day. Listen, there is no helper that comes on his own accord. They are called. I have seen financial helpers in my life. I have seen all kinds of helpers. Any good information that can help Koinonia, they call me, man of God, there is so and so. Have you considered it? Listen, you need them to move forward. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it, Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I speak to the spirit of my helpers. Share the word of the Lord. Show up in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. can do where a man shows up from nowhere and says I came to help you there is such a thing listen listen many ladies are married because a helper showed up many people have gotten jobs there are people I have been a destiny helper to many people I remember someone who was trusting God for promotion and in a meeting I met somebody who was like um, a representative of that company. And I called the person. I said, I know this person. Please, if there is any assistance they can render. Honestly, out of respect for me, that guy was promoted to a position that even surprised me. Help us. Somebody needs to talk to somebody about you. You can't talk to them. Say in the name of Jesus. Whoever needs to talk about me for my help to come, I release you to speak on my behalf. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I release you. Have this power. in now you can't bring yourself out it's not just by prayer and fasting you need a human vessel to show up we are going to pray 
say in the name of Jesus, every mountain standing before me, every closed door standing before me, whoever holds the key, by prophecy, I call the person, open that door for me, lift your voice and pray, open that door. says verily verily I say unto you if you have faith as small as a monster seed he said thou shalt say to this mountain listen every challenge in your life has a spirit component to it we are still rounding up but make sure you pray this prayer pray it with everything you have say in the name of Jesus every disappointment Every shame, every challenge in my life sponsored by hell, I declare that the powers behind those problems, you come on that judgment now. Lift your voice and pray. Every power behind the disappointment in my life. many of us God wants to bless you but your heart has been closed so you do not receive other blessings from the body this prayer is going to open you up to the possibilities in the body say in the name of Jesus I repent from criticizing the body say in the name of Jesus my heart is open to every blessing Every dimension, every possibility in the body. Therefore, I call every anointing, every grace, every mantle, every unction required for my next level. Come upon my life. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Every mantle.
if you're under the anointing, please lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. Don't worry, instrumentalist, you can play. Exceeding. the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil listen he said, Thou anointest my head with oil. He does not anoint your cup. He anoints your head. Then something happens to your cup. There are three prophetic acts you are going to do tonight. Just be foolish to do what I'm asking you to do. Father, I stand upon this office in the name of that is above all and I pray that everyone laying his hand on his head let him be transparent as a fresh dimension of power and wisdom and favor in the name of Jesus I let Stretch your hands towards me. Please. Please. I don't want you to come for koinonia and waste your time. Isaiah 48. Verse 17. Just say it, the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Stretch your hands towards me. I am the Lord thy God who teaches thy hands to profit. Listen, the hand of a man represents his labor. It's the mystery that brings abundance. I want to pray for you. Many of you will enter dimensions of breakthrough 
by this prophetic act. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands back to you. can stand on your feet the Bible says they know not neither will they understand please listen he told Abraham he said look eastward southward northwards he says everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon listen there is a mystery of dominion that men can hold firm grasp of territories and dimensions. I've taught you there are five elements upon which the supernatural finds expression. Number one is light. <laughs> Number two, fire. Number three, Wind. Number four, the earth. Are we together? One of the mysteries that we're using. Listen, the earth is a universal point of contact. No matter how high a building is, it must make contact with the earth. I want to pray for you. It's a very deep mystery. Very deep mystery. It's time for you to come into supernatural dimensions of influence. This is an impartation for influence. <laughs> listen, listen. When it was time, listen. When it was time for Jacob to bless his sons, he said, put your hand under my thigh. I'm about to speak to you and impart grace for influence. There is a grace. There is a grace. I pray for you. You are stepping upon the ground. I'm not speaking to you now. I speak to the earth. You have ears and you have doors. Oh, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you. According to the measure of grace that has been given to me. I pray in the name of Jesus. That every time your people are in trouble. For as long as the earth, their feet is upon the earth. Let the earth fight for them. Tell me. Job said in times of war you will be exempted because you have made a covenant with the stone. I pray for you. For as long as your feet is on the ground, may no man be able to defeat you. 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 I pray for you. As you are stepping your feet on this ground, go where you could not go. Enter where you could not enter. The ocean and the grace for new territories I release upon you now. I release upon you now. New territories in the spirit. New territories in finances. New territories of influence. New territories in the name of Jesus. New territories.
Hallelujah. Listen. The last prophetic act. Still with your feet. Listen. <laughs> ah, yeah. The Bible says Jericho was a fortified city. No man could break into it. The men, the Israelites, were not strong in themselves. And the Lord said, You are going to use your feet as a prophetic act to bring that city down. It says, Walk around. It didn't say sing. It didn't say clap. Use your leg and match the earth. Make contact with the earth from which you came. Seven times. Hold on. I'm not telling you to do it. And the moment they did it, the Bible says, On the seventh day, go around seven times. And then he said, After that seven times, shout. And when they shouted, the wall did not fall, it sank. I pray for you. The same way every physical mountain is connected to the earth, there is no mountain hanging in the space. It makes contact with the earth. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord God of heaven, as your feet is stepping upon this ground, any human agent, any spiritual agent responsible for the predicament in your life, if I be called of God this night, this night, I declare, may the angels of judgment, by judgment, by God's women, by not altar, by God's men, if they will not let you trouble, by God's men, in the name of Jesus, by the mystery of the earth, I smite them, I smite them in their sleep. My son, why do I wait? May the earth fight them. I want to pray that prayer again. We are rounding up. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for the tears of any man standing here, as surely as there is a God, Please hear me. I'm speaking prophetically. In the name that is above all names, that force that will refuse to let you rise, by the Lord God of heaven, that name called the man of war, Sabaoth, the avenger of men, right now, I command those altars, wherever they are, as you are standing on the ground, may they catch fire now. Right now. May they catch fire now. May they catch fire now. May they catch fire now. I release your breakthrough. I release your healing. I release your miracle. Hallelujah. In one minute, I'd like to prophesy and say I'm rising to another dimension. No force. Go ahead and pray. No force. No power. No spirit. Are you praying? No force. No power. No spirit. No force. No power. No spirit. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. Sister, believe in the Lord your God. My brother, believe in the Lord your God. Concerning your admission, believe in the Lord your God. Concerning the baby, I know it's five years, but believe in the Lord your God. Believe. Concerning God, turning your life around. You need more than a job. You need breakthrough. You need favor. If you get a job of 50,000, you are still backward. Because you should have been working for the past 10 years. So now, the issue is not just a job of 50 or 100,000. That God, can you shift my, what would have been the backlog of the past, shift my 10 years to enter my September and wait for me there. That I can enter September and I, I, it will look as if September is 10 years put together.
one of the greatest ways breakthrough comes is the manipulation of time read your bible and see what god did with time when it was time to visit people he made the sun to stand still he made the sun to go backward are we together he did something to time when you lose time you have lost everything believe in the lord your god number two please let's go back to um, second chronicles he said believe in his prophets listen carefully his prophets here doesn't just mean someone that prophesies his prophets here doesn't even mean someone who is not fake that means someone who is real that's not what he's talking about he said believe his prophets so shall ye prosper to prosper means to do well he says believe his prophets his prophets are not just people who prophesy his prophets are not just real men of god <clears throat> listen carefully this is where we miss it you must learn this his prophets here are not just men who are doing the biddings of god it has nothing to do with maybe someone being real his prophets here means the person sent to you listen listen the bible um come sam come darling look at this i'm elijah and i'm going to the house of a widow of zarephath are we together don't you think on my way going i'm going to meet other people who have problems so i meet a gentleman who has problem and i just greet him how are you where is the house of the widow of zarephath he's shaking me but doesn't receive anything because i'm not sent to him i'm a prophet i probably met other widows elijah probably met other widows lamenting and he said oh dear you mean it you mean this how your life is sorry eh and he kept going the same way jesus saw 10 lepers the same way jesus would see people and touch one and stand up and go there is a man sent to you there is an anointing sent to you listen I know that many people will not like me for what I'm telling you not every anointing can bless you generally speaking by opening your heart I mean at the anointing a portion to change your destiny it's true hear what I'm telling you and then God will bless you there is an anointing a portion there is a grace designated let me tell you happy are you the day you come into the environment where the anointing that was sent for you do you know let me tell you this and i tell you this honestly my heart is passionate when it has to do with blessing people but i have met people in my life that i just prayed for them just for praying sake but i knew in my spirit i wasn't sent to them of course you won't tell them so they don't feel bad but you know but i've seen others i could even wait for them to share their challenges because i know i know the anointing sent to you so believe his prophets are we together there were many widows in zarephath elijah was looking for just one Habba prophet what of other women <clears throat> I love them I can pray I can intercede may God bless you do a B and C but I'm looking for a woman of Zarephath where is she finally you find her and it's clear she's not even ready for you she's doing something else the prophet would have been angry to say I spent time to come here you don't even know what you are missing I'm on my way going but because he was sent he had to stay his assignment was to change her life when you find the anointing and the prophet that God has sent over your life and your situation, let me tell you, you will watch that anointing rubbish your situation in the, as if Satan does not exist. It's, it's not just, this is where we have a little challenge with many believers who just say, the most important thing is God. Yes, you are right, but you are wrong. The most anointing is anointing. What is there? What is so special about this man of God? This is what I'm teaching you now. 
people are sent to people even the word of god is sent he sent his word like a messenger meaning until that word is sent you can stay there but when the word comes like a messenger angel gabriel left other believers around earth and was directed to one person daniel all that fight for 21 days in the heavenlies he would have been angry to say i'm going to someone else mm -mm. he said daniel i am come to give you understanding are you the only one i am come to give you understanding jesus is appearing by the road saul is on his way to damascus brothers and sisters the bible says there were other people with saul god would have been fair enough to at least give them something and then he isolates one person and discusses with the person the rest just fall down and don't even know what threw them down they just got up to clean themselves and say kai now well, what is all this one now whereas one person has that encounter sent 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 the word that changes my life sent i have had encounters with sent words and sent prophets and my god did my life change tonight let me tell you if you can believe this he said believe his prophets i know you are a businessman i know you are educated i know you are smart but there are many equations in this life that cannot be solved with pen and paper they are solved from the realm of the spirit it's only the result you receive here are we together now believe in his prophets so shall you prosper write this down please his prophet here is the vessel sent from him to you you must first acknowledge that this vessel is sent from God to you and one of the ways that you can help yourself to believe the prophet God has sent to you is investigate the dealings of God with that man don't just believe for nothing you have a right to investigate the dealings of God with that man what is so special about this man why should I believe him why should I take the word that he's bringing seriously every true prophet of God has a track record of his dealings with God investigate the dealings of god study the track records of his results i think it's unfair if you just yoke people to believe you just like that no give them room to study the track records of your result and find out whether the results are worth your believing how do you believe his prophets open up your spirit to receive both his grace and his instructions don't just receive the grace alone instructions many times believers miss it because we miss instructions very subtle instructions sometimes very ego stinging instructions like you were seated here now and then i just said everybody shout jesus you know i don't mean to embarrass your intelligence you don't sit on a seat and shout Jesus. You've been singing a song before you came here. You, there was Jesus more than 10 times in that song. You kept shouting, Jesus, Jesus, lover of my soul. And nothing happened. And here you are sitting and a man is saying, just shout Jesus once. If you don't have this revelation, you can sit down and say, please, what is, we are not children here. What is all this nonsense? He told Naaman, go to Jordan watch seven times J naman said me jordan there are clean rivers somewhere and the small girl said you are the one in trouble if you don't go and wash you can go back with your lepros two scriptures and then we'll pray exodus chapter 14 and verse 31 and Israel 
saw the great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians it says and the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and also what his servant Moses God performs mighty things and creates that track record not just so that he alone will be believed God also wants the vessel he's using to be believed. The Bible says they feared the Lord. They believed the Lord and they believed his servant. They believed the Lord and they believed his servant. You believe the Lord, you don't believe his servant, you may not get any miracle. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, look up please. Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with thee, and believe thee forever. That means, I can talk to you without the cloud, but I keep that cloud as that evidence so that the people can trust that it is me you are talking to. I'm, I'm going that far because I don't just want the people to believe me alone. I want them to believe you too because their receiving is dependent on their, both their believing me, God, and their believing you, his servant. He says, and the Lord said, I come in a thick cloud. So sometimes when God does some of these signs and wonders, it's, it's not really just for him alone. When God does some of these things, oh, there's a lady here and someone is shouting. Another, you know what God is doing? He's using those things. It's, it's a similitude of the cloud to help you see. You can call somebody and say, who is grace or who is um, victory? And you can say, this is just guessing. I'm sure it's just guessing. But how do you guess that someone in this direction do you guess that one? God does some of these things sometimes purposely to just address the, the leftover of unbelief. Because you see, some of us are coming from different Christian experiences. Some of us have been, our minds have been messed up by all kinds of theology, all kinds of philosophies. Some of us have had bad experiences with all kinds of men of God, prophets and whatever. And chances are that when you come like this, usually you will just add the man of God to the list of all the people and hope that he's just a better version of them. And God says not so. And he uses these signs to speak to you that you are in Mount Zion. Are we together? It's amazing how a little miracle can just readjust your own belief immediately. Readjust your own belief while the devil is trying to lie to you. Can your life be changed all of a sudden? The, the power will touch the person near you. This somebody you shook hands with, turn to your neighbor and say this and that. So you know that the person, uh, the person can't be acting. It's a very difficult thing for believers to believe God. But I think it's even harder to believe a man of God. And people have all kinds of justifications as to why they shouldn't believe men of God. But regardless of what your justifications are, if you believe God and don't believe the vessel, you will be established but you will not prosper. Are we together? Your prosperity is what gives evidence to your establishment. You must believe one word from God can turn your life around one prophetic word can turn your life around all these strange spirits that oppress people they don't just go because they are told to go no it takes the anointing I was talking with one of the protocol uh, people when we we're, were coming down here and I told him I was shaking my head and then I was talking to him and I said I am amazed driving down to come for the miracle service now. I said, I am amazed at how people in Africa and Nigeria trivialize success. I am shocked at how people um, believe that success is about luck. It's amazing how people can see a huge sacrifice and trivialize it and just make it look like, I think these people are just fortunate. Is that true? 
I, I, these were my contemplations while I was coming. Listen, there's no result that happens in this kingdom by mistake. No. Including the testimony you are about to have. That gentleman from Ghana, he did not just press this thing and found my name. No, 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 no. The anointing that is sent with that word works day or night. Are we together now? There are many testimonies just like his, that gentleman. You see that now? Someone will tell you I was sitting and I had a dream. How about those who buy new phones, brand new phones, brand new phones, and then they open it and see koinonia messages inside? How do you explain that? A new phone, not new, uh, what do they call that thing? Not new memory card. I'm not talking about new memory card. A new phone that you bought it, tear rubber, you are the one who opened it. Then the first thing you see inside is a message that answers your question. Who, who now, who, how do you explain that? Listen, listen. We live in a world that is not natural. It only manifests the spiritual naturally. The, 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 the earlier you got this, the better. My brothers and my sisters, hear me. All that you see in this world is only a reflection. Say reflection. The real control room in this our world is the realm of the spirit. Whoever can ascend this three-dimensional realm has the advantage of victory. Nothing happens that is physical. Are we together? One of the reasons why many of us are seated here tonight, among the many miracles we desire is finance. Oh, Nigerians, finance. You want to talk a good news to any honest Nigerian right now? In this day and age, as we transit into the ember month, no matter, speak about their spiritual life, yes. Speak about their love for God, passion, new depths, but please don't ignore that other one. Just even if it's in passing, just say something about it. Finance. Many people want to see financial breakthrough. Many people are working and they are trusting God for breakthrough. And remember, the strange thing about finance, do you know why, listen, I'm not talking about money, we're going to pray shortly. Do you know why many believers are poor? Because in the kingdom, finance is warfare. Money is not just an instrument to live well, it's a weapon. See, listen. Oh dear, what's it? Ecclesiastes 7. Let me just talk a little. You was, uh, I, I didn't plan to say this, but Ecclesiastes 7 verse 12. Let me show you something. May God give somebody deliverance right now. Read it, read it. One to read. For wisdom is a defense. Uh-huh. And money is a defense. Just stop there. So we know from the word that both wisdom and money is a defense. Now look up. When the Bible says you have a weapon, what is a weapon? Something you use to both defend yourself and you can use also for attack. Is that true? If you give me a weapon like a shield, I use it for defense. And the Bible says one of the many weapons, money is one of them. And the Bible says those weapons are not carnal. The word not carnal means they are not man-made. But my brother, my sister, this thing is man-made. It was made by CBN. That means this is not what God is talking about. Because this is man-made. But the Bible says this weapon that he calls money is not carnal. He says it is mighty through God. That means there is a spirit. Are you getting what I'm saying? That means this thing is only the body. The same way a human being is called currency. Anything that moves is a living thing. And that means there is a spirit inside the body to move it. You are only seeing the body. Where is the spirit that moves it? That's why it can enter a house. You didn't ask it to go and it will go out by itself. It can enter your account and still go out. Because it's warfare. The Bible says, believe is prophets. There is something they can do that can do something to the many things, including this.
This is what we chase all around because we think this is paper. No, this is not, this is paper, yes, but there is a spirit behind it and this thing respects that spirit. This is what you need to understand. So the spirit can instruct it to leave you and it can leave no matter how hard working you are you can receive salary and all you have is part of this left and it can be instructed to leave you it will, you know it's going it's going out of your life it just touches your hand and disappears because the weapons prosperity is warfare it's not just about money to buy car and houses money is a defense it can defend the gospel it can defend a man and the bible says all those weapons they are not carnal so if you ever see this looking for anybody naira does not look for men something makes it come i please are you getting what i'm saying if you can understand this alone at least even if you don't know how it comes you already know that it doesn't come by itself these are the mysteries that surround our kingdom you ever see anybody prosperous in the kingdom my brothers and my sisters listen to me this is a spiritual realm you don't have to be a Christian to believe it you just have to be alive this is a spiritual realm animals know it plants know it's a spiritual realm that's why you throw a seed in the ground and you cover it you don't leave it open you cover it because what happens there is none of your business now you just cover it and watch it happen and it grows to become a tree that you cannot push down a little seed when you planted it it had no roots the bible says just like you do not know the way of the wind nor how a woman how a child is formed in the womb of her that is with child you know and all of that so also you don't know the way of god the lord brought you here tonight because there are spiritual possibilities listen that are beyond the realm of the eyes are we together most times we believe only what we can see and understand and explain unfortunately in this kingdom there are things that you may not be able to explain when people come here to testify you see me sit quietly and i watch and many times i'm in shock as i watch the immutability of god's power in the lives of people the same way you are going to come up here to testify yes it's true what suddenly happens to you and then you have someone just call you and say we're sending you to us to get a job Hapa, my brothers and my sisters i've told you again and again that everybody who helps you has relatives too who i need whatever makes you to leave them and come to you is not normal that you are sitting and someone says I'm thinking of you who do you think you are no I want to help you I want to bless you you step into prepared blessings blessings that you are as sure it's a master we have toiled all night and Jesus looked at them you know how to fish by waiting in the night and allowing the fish to come and rest on your net then you quickly pull it in the morning that's how you were trained but let me show you another technology cast your net to the right side master but we only have left and right <clears throat> this one is not brain work now this one is not one plus one i told you one plus one plus god is equal to whatever he says the answer should be one plus one is two but one plus one plus God is not equal to two. It's not even equal to 10,000. It's equal to any answer that God puts there. So one plus one can be equal infinity. God said so. Are we together now? I'm saying this to build your faith tonight so that you will believe that God is able to do anything at all 
when you look at the way you got to hear about this ministry and the various ways the holy spirit walked with you till you came today you should know already that there is a god in heaven are we together now brothers and sisters i present to you this same god who can change your life who will change your life i'm saying this so that you don't just sit down and be clapping for others wow this is how god has changed this lady's life wow we are soon going to pray you must have a desperation and say lord i didn't come tonight to clap for anybody i left my journey wherever lord i know that you will visit me and i hold on to the horns of the altar while you are sitting the devil is telling you remember tomorrow by 12 your rent or embarrassment say satan go away and before the presence of god tomorrow is too far god can how many minutes does it take to do a transfer I believe him yes I do I believe him I believe him I believe him I believe he can change my life in one minute I want you to just mention everything you are trusting God to do tonight go ahead Lord I believe you for this I believe you for that Those outside, whether you are standing by the wall, whether you are standing in any of the overflows, and those following online, release your faith. Don't be distracted. Any spirit that distracts you in this moment now is of the devil. It's a Luciferian spirit. Let your spirit and let your attention be open. Yes, Lord, I believe you. Mention it. Don't say it's too big. That's the devil. Too big compared to what? Pray, believers. Lord, I know you are able. You are able to take away this reproach from this family. Talk to Jesus. Even if you find yourself crying, just continue to speak. Lord, you are able. Change this situation. Turn my academics around. Lord, turn my finances around. Lord, I'm in a situation right now where only you, the God of heaven, can arise. Turn my ministry around. Lord, I'm confused. I don't even know where to go right now. I don't know whether to go to the left or to the right, but I receive grace. Pray. Are you praying? Kill unbelief as you are praying. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. God of heaven. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and by supplication, with thanksgiving, it says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Lord, I'm here tonight because I want you to turn the situation of my family around. Lord, there is a death sentence over my family, and you have to arise for me tonight. Lord, there is a death sentence over my life. Lord, I've been delayed 10 years of my life. I am backward 10 years. There has to be a way you restore me, oh God. Lord, I'm trusting you for the fruit of the womb. The gentleman who came here, seven children lost, including twins. Lord, I'm trusting you to refire my spiritual life. Something has happened to the anointing upon my life. 
something has happened to the glory upon my destiny i'm here tonight oh god turn my life around turn my life around something has happened the signs and wonders are no more like before the revelation and the grace and the utterance is not like before i'm here for a turnaround oh god my prayer life has died i'm here for a reawakening i no longer fast i no longer pray i don't know what has happened to me i cry for help hallelujah one more prayer point lord i believe you and i believe your servant i believe that anointing and i believe in its ability to turn my life around walk on any unbelief in my heart oh god and take it out tonight go ahead and pray every spirit of doubt every spirit of fear Isaiah 61 please participate in everything we are doing it's going to be a very fast one but let your spirit be open the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord the same Lord that you are instructed to believe hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted now listen this is why he anointed me because there is an agenda but that that agenda cannot be achieved just by a well-meaning heart it takes more than sincerity to bind up a broken heart to proclaim liberty now i like this one to proclaim to declare that the time has come for you to walk free it says and the opening of prison my brothers and my sisters there can be men physically walking but they are in prison next verse Verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who mourn. It takes more than a handkerchief to comfort men. It takes the anointing. Verse 3, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Now this is the part I like, to give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Hallelujah. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees or oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. So the end of it is for God to be glorified but not in the current state. No. So anything in your family make sure you carry your family along in this miracle service don't just stand alone to receive i've told you if you are blessed and your family members are not blessed you are not free you are not free at all if you are the only one who is alive and everybody is just dying like a chicken you are still not free are we together now thank you jesus christ let me give us one last prayer point father every desire i brought here tonight I'm not walking back with it. Lift your voice and pray. Every. Let your faith rise as you pray. Every desire.
visit me oh god completely the god who touches my spiritual life can touch my finances too the god who touches my body can touch my womb too lord i insist i insist for completeness comes upon your life right now then the Lord okay I want to pray a prayer now please be your brother's keeper whether you are inside or outside is because of what will happen when I pray the anointing will come and people will act out what I'm saying physically that's why I'm saying you should you should just hold them are we together now the Lord is asking me to release speed. Listen, speed is a very powerful thing. When that anointing comes, you will start running like Elijah. That's why I'm saying, hold them. Right now, I stretch my hands inside, outside, online, and I declare, Spirit of the living God, there are men and women here who have been delayed, and speed must come upon them. Right now, I declare at the count of three, one, two, three, receive that grace. I command speed, speed right now, speed, let the hand of God come upon you. The Bible says the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I command speed, receive it, it's coming on you now. Some of you is coming on you for the sake of your family. It's not just you alone, it's coming on you for the sake of your family. Let the chains be broken. I release speed. Speed. In one month. In one month. I'm prophesying that in one month, what has not been done in five years, in one month, receive that grace. I energize your spirit, man. Speed. When speed comes upon a family, you will see it in the result. When speed comes upon your spiritual life, when speed comes upon your academics, I'm praying again. The angels that ride upon the chariots are bringing you speed. I release that grace. Let that anointing come upon you. Speed, speed, in the name of Jesus Christ. Speed, shalakato sadakata. Now listen. 
fire in the spirit has many significance fire this fire is a mystery it was a reality borrowed from the realm of the spirit that we use here fire does not run away from any element fire is the only thing that all other elements must fit whether you put metal the metal will be hot wood will be burnt rubber will be melted there is nothing that stands fire other things can stand water but not fire are we together now he said he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire when the holy spirit listen is moving to break chains he moves as fire do you know why because fire destroys every other thing yet it is not destroyed it is not solid it is not liquid are we together it looks like gas but it's there you are seeing it you can't hold it you can't cage fire you can't lock it up it's not restrained by anything the holy ghost is going to move right now in this place as fire listen this fire i want you to bring those people out this fire you see will bring an end now believe me when i tell you this will bring an end to many captivities many captivities at the count of three i just want you to shout with me that word fire that word fire and many of you will be surprised in the name of jesus where sam there's a song in my spirit when we sing that song what's the name of that song blow 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 like a mighty wind am i correct you know what i'm talking about so you sing that song by the time we pray in the name of jesus i'm stretching my hands right now spirit of the lord you seek to reveal yourself as fire that consuming fire no power and no spirit even spirits can be burnt by fire in the name of jesus i declare that any operation that is not of god at the count of three by the mystery of the holy ghost as fire let there be deliverance let there be refining let there be the breaking of chains are you ready now one two three bring them out fire the mystery of fire I declare any chain if there is anyone under the sound of my voice and any chain has held your destiny by the mystery of this fire I'm speaking by this apostolic and prophetic grace I decree and declare to the heavens at the count of three may that fire locate chains in this place now one two three chains be broken chains be broken Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Sing below, blow, blow, blow like a mighty Spirit of victory, Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Cover us with your wings. Hallelujah. 
Madam, please clear the way for me. These women, tap these women for me. One, two, and the other person, three. Please come. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. You are welcome. Your first time here? I came here last week. Okay, you were here last week and you too. Um, is this the is this the mama I asked to come? I think it's someone else I saw, but when you are here, we'll honor you. But I want to pray for you. Madam, look at me. I'm seeing witchcraft in your life and your family. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands, man. Look at me. I know you believe in the power of God. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end every oppression of darkness. Mama, I decree and declare, in one month, your life will turn around into surprise you. In one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is that man that came from my Duguri? The one who came to give you a testimony. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying I should tell you that the oppression is over. Look, I'm seeing fire. He's leaving my hands. And is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, where is that man? We have to hurry up. There's, there's a lot to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, I decree and declare over your life. That fire. The Lord, it looks like you are an elderly woman. But the Lord is going to use you mightily. What you are receiving now is not just a miracle yet. You are receiving an impartation. You will begin to know the Holy Spirit in a very intimate way. Hold my hand. Spirit of the living God, you seek to use this dear mother. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will know the Holy Spirit in supernatural ways. His fire will come upon your life and he will use you in a very mighty way. In the name of Jesus, come. You are the man that came from my degree. What is this? CV and your CV. You are trusting God for a job. And who is this? Hold it. Do you believe that if I pray for you, you are returning with a job? You believe that? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I release the anointing upon you and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let there be that miracle. You go and return with your job, sir. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare that the oppression of darkness comes to an end. A complete end over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray right now, but let me just... Um, the Lord is showing me all day. Sometimes this time, time, time just affects you. But I'm praying right now. And I'm seeing letters. And I'm seeing on the letter, congratulations. Listen. And I'm seeing that this is a symbolism of breakthrough. Listen, let me tell you. Except God is not God. If this anointing that I'm seeing touches you, then you and your family must stand here and testify. I'm stretching my hands right now. Lord, you are showing me this. In the name of Jesus, this is a symbol of breakthrough. I stretch my hands. Every family and every person that must receive of this grace, I'm stretching my hands now. You must testify. I release upon you that grace you must testify 
I declare whatever it will translate to, whether a job, whether increase, whether promotion, I command it, I declare it, I decree it. In the name of Jesus, I command it, I decree it, I declare it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. hold the hands of this lady this one hold the hands of this lady in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands right now and I declare it's time for your family to rise I'm speaking it by the spirit of prophecy and I decree and declare every embargo that holds on to that family I command that is gone now in the name of Jesus it is gone I cause the power of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards me your hand is a symbol of your productivity and there are many of you there is no grace on the works of your hands I look and in the spirit I don't see the blessing of the Lord working that's what is responsible for hardship it's not like you are not employed or you are not doing this but in the name of Jesus I stand representing the Spirit of God and I stretch my hands back to you I'm declaring still that ministry of fire many of you will be surprised whatever it is you are involved in God is about to bring grace upon it I stretch my hands right now at the count of three may the fire of God come through your hands into your life Lord I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever has not been working in your life, I force it to work right now. Receive that anointing. I force it to work now. Inside, outside, I force it to work now. Those following online, I pray and I speak whatever it is that you are doing. I declare the blessing. I activate the blessing upon the work of your hand. I take away hardship from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take away hardship from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Yabone nakawo Sujata ne nakawo Sirkin salama Sirkin aljana Yabone the Lord is opening the eyes of people into where your blessing is. I'm seeing fire, still this fire thing coming on the eyes of people physically you will feel fire burning and ideas the Lord is birthing things is is a birthing in the spirit I release that grace right now in the name of Jesus Lord all those who must see show them oh God where their blessings are stationed so that they stop dilly-dallying around life I decree and declare receive that grace the grace of an open eye the grace of an open vision may the Lord show you where the resources of your destiny is may the Lord show you where your helpers are in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah this the prayer is for everybody eh? but this particular prayer now is for ladies the Lord is showing me destinies that must be changed outwardly you are beautiful you are good-looking you are virtuous you are wonderful but in the realm of the spirit is not what we are seeing physically that we are seeing in this in the realm of the spirit a man with an ugly situation sat down at a gate called beautiful the gate was beautiful but the man's life was nonsense 
there are many people you can stand I'm, I'm saying everybody but this is ex specifically for our sisters and it's not just the issue of marriage I'm not talking about marriage alone that there is a fragrance a presence that can ooze from you and bring favor to your life but many of you physically they look at you and you look like you are beautiful, you are this, you are that. But in the realm of the spirit, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I want to pray for you. That, that force, that veil must be torn. In the name of Jesus, ah, I'm seeing a strange grace that is coming on many people, especially our sisters. I declare any wrong identity that you are given in the realm of the spirit that is not a reflection of your true identity any exchange that has been made in the realm of the spirit so that physically you should be blessed but in the realm of the spirit you are carrying another person's destiny right now by the fire of the holy ghost sisters may that anointing come upon you now may that grace come upon you now I declare anyone's destiny here that has been changed and switched and manipulated in the realm of the spirit so that what you look like is not a reflection of what your destiny is I change it now in the name of Jesus I change it now in the name of Jesus Listen, a man's destiny can be exchanged. It's true. Have you not read in the Bible where kings slaughtered their children to prolong their own lives? A man's destiny can be a shadow of something else. You know you are alive, but this is not your life. You know that you are living another person's script. I'm saying it again. In the name that is above all names. Sir, come. I don't know you, but I want to pray for you, sir. God is going to turn your life around. And you see this prayer that I'm saying generally, this prayer, sir, is for you. You are a shadow of your life. Of your is your dad. Where did he come from? From high there. From where? Hi, from high there. Daddy, I'm going to pray for you. This is not just about your leg. Huh? This is about your destiny. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare Shalos Kapra Hasegete Barandos Kapriya Shata. In the name of Jesus, anyone who has exchanged your destiny, sir, I decree and declare restoration now. You are the daughter, hold my hands. I pray for you. Look at me. You are a wonderful lady, huh? But bad things continue to happen in your life, huh? You are a nice lady. Are you married? I'm married, but we're divorced. Don't worry. I know why I'm saying. You get what I'm saying now? Yes, sir. Because what I'm seeing, this is a spirit. You are a nice lady, but people continue to misunderstand you. Yes, sir. Yes, Good sir. things, and people look at you in the eye of many people now. You are you are a devil. You are a terrible lady, yes, but it's sir. not true. Yes. You have a very beautiful heart. This is what happens when... Do you know that there are spirits that make sure you are misrepresented in the eyes of people? A ministry can be under this captivity. No matter... The Bible said, don't let your good be evil spoken of. You can be nice to somebody like it's happening to many of you. And people end up fighting you. You bought something for them. And they end up, you are saying, what is this? I pray for you and the person says, so you are trying to say I'm the one who is not spiritual. It's a spirit. My dear, I want to pray for you. Eh? This thing is not just about your marriage that is, you know, things have gone wrong. You are a wonderful lady. 
Uh, favor will come close to you, but then never enter your life. Yes, sir. What yes, do you sir. do? I'm working in a security. Uh, you are a security? Yes, sir. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. I'm running my master's. You are running your master's? Yes, sir. My dear, do you believe God can change your life yes, now? Yes, sir. I believe, sir. Hold my hands. To appoint unto them. You see that? To appoint. This one is a prophet's reward. It's not just that God is saying, put this. There is something in the spirit called a prophet's reward. The possibilities that accompany an office, I declare in the name of the God of heaven whom I represent, may your life change this night in a way that will surprise you. Listen, I lift you from this security work you are doing and I put you in a position that befits your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, Daddy sir, I'm praying for your daughter in your presence. This lady will come here and give a testimony that even you as a father will say this one is the Lord's doing. Are we together now? I declare it, I decree it done right now. Hear me. I don't care whether you are working or not. If you are not in the rightful place as ordained by God, I want to pray a very serious prayer because there are people, the work you are doing is a nonsense work. That work is, it has robbed your spiritual life. It has destroyed your relationship. Because of that work, no man can see you to marry you. Demonic work that closes you everywhere. I decree and declare. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. If you are in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny, I take you out of that place and I shift you to the place of destiny. I shift I shift you in the spirit. I shift you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, if the widow of Zarephath was not where the prophet met her, that's how her miracle would have gone. It matters that you are in the right place at the time God sends your miracle. Some of these things in the name of employment, they are traps of the devil. I'm not saying it's not good to work, don't get me wrong. But many of them are traps from the peace of hell. There are people whose spiritual lives have gone down from heaven to earth. Simply in the name of job. Are we together? Nonsense job. That on Sunday you're on your way going to church, your boss calls you and says you must come and resume. What shall it profit a man? If you gain the, what is it? Is that the whole world? How much is the salary? Lose your soul for peanuts. I declare again, in the name of Jesus, may my God relocate someone here by the power of the Holy Spirit. May my God relocate a destiny, relocate a family. If you are not in your assigned place, I shift you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know, listen, we are going to pray for the sick shortly. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, he will make sure they get visa. Ah, Pastor Jay, it's good to see you. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, they will get visa to UK. They think it's breakthrough, but they have gone away from their place of destiny. God spoke to Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah entered a boat on his way to Tarsus. And because of that wrong journey, people lost their properties. People lost. He entered a boat and made people to start destroying their lives. They were almost dying because a man was not in sync with seasons. Let me tell you this. It matters that God meets you at the place where your blessing is waiting for you. The devil can relocate people and, and destroy your life. There are many Nigerians outside this country whose destiny is ordained by God to be in this country. You see them roaming around like armed robbers around the world in the name of abroad. And there are others whose destinies are abroad and the devil will make sure that he will peg them somewhere. 
and Isaac sowed in that land. It's not just that he sowed. The place he sowed matters. Isaac sowed in that land. Abraham, beg now thy son and go. Go to a location. That's where I will meet with you. God is everywhere. But destiny does not meet with men everywhere. You must have the discernment to understand your season of visitation. I repeat this. You see me speaking like this. I'm speaking by the Spirit. There are some of you, it's an instruction from God to you. Don't be careless about your life. Look at how many Nigerians. You go to embassies and see Nigerians. They want to go abroad by fire, by force. Ask them why. They will say greener pastures. I've told you, greener pastures is not in any physical location on earth. Greener pastures is in the world. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything? Not when you went. Jesus instructed them and said, do not go. Go only to the lost tribe of Israel. Don't go outside that camp. Because salvation was for the Jews first. If they went to the Gentiles, they would have received a root shock direction direction please in one minute before we pray for the sick lift your voice and say lord direct me he said the lord is my shepherd direct me there is a way that cement right unto a man unto a woman unto a family direction your blessing is not just generically in u.s or uk there are people suffering in every nation. It takes the leadership of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, two things we are going to do very quickly. And I know you have been doing this, but please, I want to plead with you to do it with understanding. Most times we do things in this kingdom without understanding. That's why we are not blessed. Are we together? We are going to pray for the sick now. Don't walk out here if you expect to walk back the same way. Come here convincingly, knowing that God is going to touch you. And while we are doing that, um, your prayer, if you don't have your prayer request, please write it quickly. Write it quickly. And in case your faith, you came here with a faith that is weak, you did write some vital things, you can add it quickly. Those online, you can send, you can send your prayer request very quickly. Now, we are going to do this very fast because our time is gone. Thank God Pastor Jax is here. Are we together now? Overflow. Listen, let's not be rowdy. Overflow one outside will walk to your projector stand. Overflow two, you also walk to your projector stand. Overflow three, walk to your projector stand. Those who are in here, you are trusting God to touch you, to touch your family members. You can make your way and come and stand orderly in front here now. Please, quickly, quickly. Let's do that very quickly. While we are doing that, please, if you have written your prayer request, I want you to wave it. And ushers, you may find a way of splitting yourselves very quickly. Let's, let's have ushers. If the ushers are not in our PR department, you can join them. And then let's make it very fast. Make sure everyone's request um, is obtained, please. For those online, I want you to believe by faith. If you are still here to write, just write it. Ushers, please. There are hands all around. Let's help out. Protocol can also help so that we'll make sure that everyone's request. If it's a text on your phone and you don't have the opportunity to write it down while I'm praying, you can just connect with it. It's not just a ritual. Believe in what we're doing.
the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace and this corporate anointing. Pastor Jex Ejimi there, um, Pastor Alpha Benga Overflow One, Pastor Femi Promise Overflow Two. Please, quickly, quickly. Let's go there and let's trust God to touch the people. God has anointed this ministry and he has given us the grace to be the extension of the hand of Jesus over your life. And I want you to agree. I want you to believe. The worship team will lead us a moment of praise and worship while we pray. And please listen. Except the people are prophesying to you or they are talking to you. Just a touch. I want you to believe by faith. Are we together? You don't have to start giving them an explanation. This is why I'm here. Don't worry. Just connect by faith. If there is a word for you, the word will be given to you. Otherwise, just believe by faith. Father, we thank you. You call this place Koinonia and this meeting a miracle service. Lord, we pray for those online and those within. We decree and declare. Let there be a free flow of the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Lord, let this touch not just be the touch of men. Let it be the touch of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let every one of these people come and testify here. In the name of Jesus. Now, those of you who, when you submit your prayer request, don't just be staring. This is not a cinema. You should be praying. Are we together? Because shortly after this, I will pray on this and I will speak over our lives. Prophecy is very powerful. So whilst you are standing there, whether you are, you know, up here or down, you should be prayerful, spiritualize your mentality. Now is not the time to laugh around and be talking carelessly. Let your spirit be alive. Hallelujah. God bless you. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be healed right now. Oh, 
Oppression is lifted, shackles are breaking, heaven touches earth in the spirit. Oh, in the spirit. Heaven touching earth. Oh, heaven touching earth. Oh my 
Stretch your hands, we are praying on this request. Shalabaka ruta sabre dege dege tabala daba. Nataka parakato shada bre dege tebelele bos. Father, let your people return with testimonies. Ha shalaga da bre dege daba rakato sada bre dege dech. In the cross asia saha sabara kato shabre dege tabala daba. Rakata branda gada bala dabos. E pratos kada brandi gedi bala dabos. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations be turned around by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Lord, it is before you these prayers are laid out. Father, we give you praise. Thank you because whatsoever we ask in your name, that you will do. Thank you for prayers. Thank you for answers. Thank you for praises. Thank you for testimonies that abounds. Father, we give you praise for there is nothing impossible with you. We give you glory because we know situations that have stood hitherto. 
unbeatable lord you will bend things tonight in the name of jesus you will change things tonight in the name of jesus you will bring breakthroughs by the power of your spirit you bring healings you bring deliverance you will bring breakthrough financial breakthroughs in the name of jesus you bring changes lord death supernatural deaths we cancel by the power of your spirit lord we give you praise we give you glory Father, we thank you. Thank you for angels, the release of angels. Angels on assignment. Angels bringing solutions and answers to prayers. Father, we give you praise because many will stand before you to give testimony and give glory to your name. For in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It has been declared in the name of Jesus every request here. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, we turn it into testimonies. Yeah. And let some of them begin to manifest from this night. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let it be by the grace of God that by this time next month, you will, you will almost not have any requests to write. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone, but I want you to lift your hands. I want to speak over your life now. Apostle, why do we do this all the time? Because this is how you program the destinies of people. These words you see, they are not just languages. It's not just the speaking. You know, I never cease to be amazed at how people's lives change overnight just because a word the bible says he sent a word to jacob not he spoke he sent a word to jacob and it lighted upon israel hallelujah and he blessed them saying and he blessed them not thinking saying in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that this month of September you are entering, let it be called your season of strange results. Let it be called your season of strange results. Anyone who has despised the grace of God upon your life, in the name of Jesus, may God use your life to prove a point. I decree and declare over your spiritual life a new vista of insight and access into the mysteries of the spirit I release it upon you right now if you are a man of God here I pray may your ministry shift to a new dimension if you are a woman of God here I pray may your ministry enter a new dimension of power I declare that someone here may you encounter the power of God raw, the raw power of God the same way God comes to man may his power come to you may you know the mysteries of the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life this is a family of great favor I declare if this grace is not yet speaking in your life i declare by the hand of god almighty who brought that anointing upon my life and this house may favor practical favor begin to follow you from today in the name of jesus christ what you cannot do for yourself i ask my god to do it for you in this season If you are a man of God here, I prophesy to you that the next time you stand upon this altar to dispense the word of God, may you see a dimension of the spirit through your life and your ministry that will surprise you. I know that there are many of us that are trusting God for all kinds of financial breakthrough. I've taught you the principles of finances, but there is a prophetic dimension of wealth. Are we together now? And in the name of Jesus, I declare the same grace that carried a raven and it brought bread to Elijah 
I decree and declare may that same grace carry your blessings and locate you with it in this season in the name of Jesus I pray for every family represented here in the name of Jesus and I say this from the depth of my heart enough is enough I prophesy it again enough is enough whatever represents setbacks in any family I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and I command that an end comes to it this night every graduate here that is trusting God for a job you had the testimony here in the name of Jesus Christ both where you applied and where you didn't apply may the angel of the Lord see to which that a miracle job locates you those who are in business here in the name of Jesus business is spiritual the grace that will cause your business to command strange results. May that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. If there is anyone here in any kind of trouble that needs the hand of God, that means if God does not step in for you, you know you are in trouble. I stand by the gift of prophecy and I decree and declare over your life, come out of that trouble now. Whether it's a financial trouble, whether it's whatever, come out of it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every attack on your destiny, I decree and declare from tonight, by the assignment of angels, we ward off that attack in Jesus' name. Whoever has been destined by God to help you rise, and either because of witchcraft or insensitivity in the spirit he has not been able to locate you in the name of jesus i declare i call them by the spirit and i command that they locate you <laughs> believe in every prayer that we're praying we're entering the ember months and many people associate this month with all kinds of demonic activity minus you <laughs> I say it again minus you everyone who is part of this prophetic family and connected to this family I declare the mystery of exemption over you in the name of Jesus Christ that when men say there is a casting down I welcome you into the greatest months that you have to face for this year I decree and I declare over your life we're rounding up there are some of you nothing ever works in your life it's not like you are lazy it just doesn't work except it fails you to the point that even when you see success you are afraid of it because you know it will not last I declare not only will you be successful I command your results to last I say it again by the Spirit I command your results to last. I forbid you from this experience of up today and down tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any door that was once open and is now closed, I reopen it in Jesus' name. I hope you believe everything I'm saying. Please believe it with all your heart. I pray for every student here. I don't know what challenge you may be having. Or I don't know what you are trusting God for. In the name of Jesus, I pray particularly for students that are supposed to have graduated and one thing or the other is keeping them. I don't care what needs to be done. Let it be done to move you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say it again. Let it be done to move you. There are some of our young ones that just wrote post UME. In the name of Jesus, there are some of you who the results you have seen now, 
from that result you will not get anything serious i change that result now i change that result now i change that result now believe it you are too young to walk in unbelief i change that result now anyone assigned here program that you must die or that your loved ones as we enter this ember whether by accident as you're moving listen no i know our time is gone but i'm praying a very important prayer believers are careless and that's why sometimes we allow the devil to take advantage of us i declare whether by air or by land whether on bike kekena pep if it will crash you will never enter it I say it again, if that fake cool is doomed for accident, then I take you out of it. But in the name of Jesus, if you enter it, then it must not crash. I pray for your finances again that in the name of Jesus, the worship team sang here and said, Ebenezer, there is a God that can help men. I pray for you directly finance that's the prayer i'm praying for you now i know you love god already i'm not doubting your passion for god but the resources that it will take especially for you my dear brothers it takes a lot for a young man to be established and it's not a blessing if you are just going old and old and old and you have to beg for tea and bread every day in the name of jesus the grace that helps men that can take a man from nowhere and establish him because you have believed the Lord I command your establishment now he said keep us lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil I pray for you any orchestration of evil a trap of Satan so that you will enter and it will destroy your life quarter to getting into that trap I declare in the name of Jesus may the Lord rescue you out of it two or three more prayers and we're done any friend in your life any useless association in your life that is not profiting you spiritually destiny wise financially I caught it from the realm of the spirit this night I ate it out of your life in the name of Jesus let me tell you there is a saying show me your friends and I will show you your destiny some of us love God but the demon in our life is the spirit that keeps bringing the worst of every kind of friend you are born again but the people that come to like you to want to marry you are people who don't love God or you are a nice well-meaning brother but your friend is an arm robber your friend is a 419er your friend what any kind of wrong relationship whether you are aware or not in the name of Jesus I'm speaking to you let there be a separation right now and I pray for you if there is any deceiver in your life may my God expose them in this season. I know you don't like the prayer but let me pray for you if there is any deceiver in your life I say it again may the God of heaven expose them in this season. whatever has tampered with your love for God there is something called first love first love is fire fire for God 
fire for the house of God that they have to advise and encourage you now and say let us go he said I was glad not I was angry not I was dragging let me tell you if the passion for the house of God is dying in your life it's not a sign of spiritual growth it's a sign of an attack even if you think it's happening because you are a man of God that church they are not sharing anything that spirit is the spirit of the antichrist i declare fresh passion for the things of god fresh passion for the house of god you used to wake up in the morning and the first thing you think about is your bible but now you wake up the first thing is your phone the first thing is email the first thing is uh, what they call all those things social media all those things you are doing and before you know it you spend one hour there you say let me just do it for five minutes you wake up by three o'clock and you say i will study my bible but quickly you watch nigerian film all kinds of things in the name of jesus those things are not bad don't get me wrong but i don't care whatever it is if it is as taking the position of god i declare let it return back to his rightful position Let me rebuke the spirit of laziness before we share the grace because let me tell you i have seen people as a man of god and as a leader i have seen people who will never become anything listen nigerians and especially we around here let's trust god for grace to be serious when a young man is snoring your way you are sleeping you watch movie till 1 a.m and then you sleep till 11 a.m. You are signing poverty with your destiny. Both God and Satan agree that laziness leads to suffering. Are we together? There are many of us here. I, I don't hate you. You know I love you with all my heart. But your deliverance needs to be laziness. 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 I'm not as concerned about our sisters. But these our brothers. You are the ones I'm talking to. Sis, that doesn't mean that sisters should be lazy because some of you god is even speaking to you through this reduce those movies reduce all those facebook thing and all of that and sit down gentlemen receive grace grace to stay awake when others are sleeping believers are lazy people and we just imagine that just because we have the anointing things will happen just like that if you are a man here and you are a married man please hear me and you know you are not catering for your family i love you but i'm telling you the truth by the word of god you are not being responsible no matter what the excuse is receive grace tonight to sit down and find out what do i need to do to feed my family let no man believer here born of God you return back home and there's no food and they are asking you and you are acting as if that they have not paid school fees say what will I do is irresponsible it's irresponsible before you have a child think and plan what are we going to do with this child that is coming not just that you give birth and then you start inconveniencing people in the name of Jesus I declare the discipline to be diligent and the discipline to be responsible I release it upon you now every entitlement mentality that makes you believe someone somewhere should walk and just come and give you free success i cancel that wrong mentality now yeah. hallelujah we speak peace over zaria yeah. we speak peace over kaduna state yeah. and we speak peace over this nation yeah. We decree and declare that whether it's in the political or the economic sphere, we declare that Christ must be glorified in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of you who are doing one thing or the other, whether job, whether ministry, whatever it is, I declare multiplication of results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Before we take the altar call, I want to encourage you, please listen, please listen. Everyone, next week, Friday, next week, we're going to have Koinonia on Sunday. It's, 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 it's our SOM graduation, we'll announce that shortly. But on Friday, please listen, we're all waiting upon the Lord, we're fasting, okay? 
there's no koinonia so we're going to trust god please when we say wait upon the lord minimum minimum at least minimum four o'clock if you fast and end by 12 except you are a child or except you are on a serious medical this thing if if you are not on a medical program and you fast and end by 12 i think you are lazy to whom much is given much is required six hours alone is too small you have to be serious and if you fast and all you do is sleep god too will have to forgive you because you didn't maximize is this not the fast i have commanded there is a fast that is hunger starvation but there is a genuine fast listen to messages so friday please uh, media make sure you announce it friday we are fasting and we are fasting the goal listen carefully three things number one our spiritual health are we together number two we're interceding hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you